Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Conqueror's Blade. So today I wanted to basically revisit Cavalry. So I originally did a Cavalry video uh, pretty much not long after Open Beta hit. I thought it would be kind of interesting and I wanted to check them out. And I got the um, Iron Cap Cavalry. So if we can take a look at these, Iron Cap Scout Cavalry here. Because they were the Maoyang um, specific cavalry for the, for the Eastern Cavalry, which is the region I'm in. So it kind of made sense because I could craft the unit kits, etc. And it was, I thought it was going to be cheaper, so I went down this line. And while these are fine, the main thing that they don't have when they start is they don't have any sort of a charge based unit order. They do, however, unlock one further down the line. Um, you know, you have to get to like level 8, something like that, before level 7, before you can unlock the charge. But of course, that means you've got to play quite a few levels where they're really quite bad because even though they're, they're okay in hand to hand combat, it's that charge that really makes the cavalry excel. So I basically got bored of them, didn't really like them, um, and don't think it was a particularly great first impression of what cavalry can be about. So I've since then unlocked the uh, Cortaliers, which are the Ostarian versions, and they do start off with a charge. If we're going to have a look, you can see they start off with a charge ability. Plus they're much more sort of lance-based cavalry, which really, when you're trying to get charges, is obviously better. So these guys seem to be vastly improved. Um, and another thing I said in the first video is I said that I didn't think cavalry would be very good in sieges with the narrow streets because the cavalry pathfinding can be a little bit skew-whiffy at times. Um, and while the pathfinding still is a little bit strange and kind of frustrating at times, yeah, I was wrong there. They can be absolutely great in sieges because when you get them flying down and dead straight down that narrow street, they just wipe out absolutely everything in their path. So in that sort of situation, they can work pretty well. So, yeah, so I kind of just wanted to take a look at these and we're going to hop into a, sort of a number of different battles just to take a little bit of a quick look at them in each one. They do get an interesting selection of veterancy bonuses. And if we actually go to my ones in the barracks, um, I'm to level 7 with them. You see, I've just unlocked this arrowhead formation, which is actually quite nice because otherwise they're in a line. Particularly for sieges, this little narrower, slightly narrower wedge is actually kind of quite a little bit better. A few other things I'm looking forward to getting is this, is producing damage taken from ranged units while charging. So charging at a ranged unit, minus 20% damage twice, it's going to be a total of 40% reduction in damage taken. That's going to be pretty good, because they get a pretty good starting health, so that means they're going to stand that better chance of charging down those ranged units, and we're going to take them out. One thing I have noticed, though, is that um, the enemy, the flaming arrows, the mercenary fire archers, do seem to stop their charge if they use the flaming arrow ability on them. So, worth bearing in mind that flaming arrows do seem to stop the cavalry charge. Obviously, if you charge into pikes, that's a terrible idea, but you can charge into a spear militia, and that works really well, as we will see. So anyway, I think I've waffled on for long enough, so let's hop straight into some clips and still see how we get on in battle. So, we are out and about with the old Cortaliers. Let's go and have a little bit look. I think the gateway is through on the front here. I'm not sure if the secondary one is through there. We are now capping point A, and it looks like it is, which is good for us. Let's see if we can make it through into the courtyard. We've not really got a lot in the way of friendly infantry yet in the courtyard. I might just fall here temporarily. Get these badasses formed up. These are pretty good because I really like them because of their spears charges. Just awesome. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted a few infantry to punch down to try and group the enemies up a little bit. And then I was going to make my charge. But we can't, we can't. That poor musket got slaughtered. Just form up there a second and let's have a look what we're facing off against. So we've got some archers down there. Not a lot that's really grouped though. You see, trying to charge through those tents would be very hard because of the obstruction. I've got those guys down there though, which may be a vi more viable target. So let's get everyone formed up. And we'll look to perhaps make our move. Oh, forwards, forwards, forwards. Charge! <laughs> Yes, I didn't really get too interrupted. Straight through the musket line. And we can just finish off the few stragglers that there are. And here come the friendly infantry. Let's try and get out with what we can. They don't always get out cleanly again. But sometimes they do. They don't take too many losses actually there to be fair. Because the cooldown on the charge is quite high. So if we can get them out again, all the better. Because then we can use them for another charge. We only, particularly we only lost two units. Which is great. So we'll leave them on that cooldown for a while. Is that some javelins in that gap? Being rather pesky, aren't they? Well, look what's going on down here. A little bit of airy healing to this unit. A little bit cheeky, a little bit too far forwards there. Ah, enemy cavalry charge. 
not so good when you charge against a line of the new uh, chivalric pikes though. Doesn't tend to work quite so well. Let's just pull back a second. So our guys have now um, completed their, their cooldown on the charge. So we'll look about bringing them back in, I think. And we'll see if we can maybe break our way through to this camp here. Try and sneak them down. Oh, actually, no, 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 I won't. Because I sense an opportunity here to do a similar sort of thing. Oh, 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 oh. Backwards charge. Charge! This is why I love them. Dush, 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 dush. Ho, <laughs> ho, good damage. Good damage. They pretty much got slaughtered in the end, but they did do a great damage. They took out basically that entire enemy force from behind there, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Ow, I'm doing a lot of archer fire there at the moment, I must say. Make it back to a little bit of safety. So it certainly netted us a good amount of kills during the charge. And that's where I think these guys really come into their own. It's just that, that, that charge. The hand to hand sucks. It's useless. Um, but when you get those charges, it's just glorious. Oh well, I'll finish this battle off and I'll join you in the next one. And we'll see if we can get a few more cavalry charges. So we are in with our cavalry. Um, we're moving up. I've been kind of trying to get them through the through the narrow gaps. This is one of the problems I do find with them on sieges a little bit, is that they obviously uh, tend to be struggle a little bit with their pathfinding, I find. So trying to get them through some of the narrow gaps can be difficult, particularly when there's someone sat above uh, with some some of the nice stuff there to drop on me. I'm going to try and charge them at the shield wall if everyone gets into position. Let's see how we get on here. Ah, some of them are going to miss. But we did have quite an effective job, killed most of the people there. Um, I think we've got two hero kills there maybe, or at least a handful of assists, and we broke the back of this line here, which is kind of the main thing we wanted to achieve. A bit of a longsword fun here. I tried to like to get my cavalry out of the way, they kind of got caught in a bit of an unexpected iron cap swordsman fight. Um, they did do okay against heroes to be fair actually, because they kind of just get in the way. Yeah, got him down. Okay, let's get those guys to reform there. Uh, that was quite effective. So you see it even against the shield militia, that's kind of what I really wanted to show, even against the armoured shield units, doesn't really make a difference, doesn't stop the charge going straight through. Only pikemen really seem to stop the charge, so yeah, flattens units like that pretty easily. I really want to be taking that A point back. Um, yeah, I don't know how much stuff there's going to be on here, so we'll see. Get everyone to form up. Oh, we've got some friendly guys coming in. Come on, cavalry. Hurry up. Okay, what have we got? Oh, there's a bit of stuff here. We'll go for that um, unit of spear militia because they'll get annihilated. Feels almost harsh. Just flatten him. And we'll recapture the point. Some enemy cavalry here. It's not going to stop us from capping, I don't think. Which it won't. Just push our own cavalry back out of the way. Because we don't want to be getting caught up and killed unnecessarily. Now we've got some friendly musketeers here doing a bit of the uh, the old shooty shooty. we we'll sit here and defend briefly. Uh, how long have we got? 18 seconds cooldown on that. I know this is supposed to be a squires video. It's not exactly been very squirey so far. We will get onto them, I'm sure. What have we got around here? Units, but nothing that I really want. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. What have they got? Mm. Again, nothing that I really want. Ooh. Oh. I've got the assist, disappointing. Um, so, we're holding B, uh, B, A, and C pretty well by the looks of things. A horse. Uh, there's a little bit of enemy stuff they're actually capturing. Capturing point uh, B as well. Looks like there's an enemy coming up onto point A. You got any units with him? No. Try and get the interrupt on. Particularly good move. We got the interrupt though. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Press the wrong button. Roll out. I'm dragging back towards the muskets, I suppose. We have the cavalry, I suppose, as well. Could always charge with. Let's go down like that. See if we can get them in the. Oh! So close! 
Yes, got it. Nice, that's what we wanted. And hopefully we'll do some damage to their um, spear militia as well. Even though my cavalry seems to have charged into a wall a little bit. And get them as they run. Yes, kill them. Murder them all. William, well, we seem to be winning a cavalry game much more than a squire's game. To be fair, which isn't kind of, kind of what I had in mind. Let's wait for this to uh, heal up. Hmm, well, we might as well push on, I suppose. We seem to be winning this quite easily. Cool. Man of the spear. Hmm. They're recapturing point B, which is obviously to be expected. But to be fair, they're going to... Quite, quite a nice charging opportunity there, to be fair, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, we really, we... Really, we did. <laughs> and this, this, the enemy team was killed. Oh, okay. Well, that seemed, that seemed to pan out, okay? <laughs> cavalry. Cavalry really does rock. Oh, God, you gotta love them. Okay. Um, so, we're enjoying our cavalry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Which way are we going to go? We might as well have a go look at this. Uh, the archer. Ah. Seems completely ignorant of my presence. Oh, no, he's going away. Darren, right. might as well get on a horse, I suppose. Probably make this easier. Didn't even get the kill. Yeah. Can easily block the spears with that sort of thing. So it looks like we've done pretty well here. Because we're just going to win with still like a thousand points to spare. Um, but to watch out for that guy. We are going to lose point B, but that's fine. Bit of a fight breaking out here. Try and get some damage on this guy. A little bit overwhelmed there. Keep it up. Ooh, back off, back off, back off. Ooh, dodge, dodge. Actually, we even recapturing point B. They end up dying. Ooh, there's like militia there as well. We'll definitely watch out for those guys. They will uh, take you down pretty fast. Here's the pipe militia. Now they've uh, finished their charge, we can kind of go to town on them a little bit. Awesome. Okay. Nice. Victory. So, cavalry. Quite an awesome unit, as it turns out. Pretty good for uh, for getting those old charge kills. 91, just on a few charges. Check out cavalry. It's well worth it. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content, and I shall see you guys all on the next video.